And um, as we know, in the past, we used to graft. We needed to raise big flaps. We needed time for these bone augmentation procedures to heal. And we were uh, more invasive, creating pain and morbidity to our patients. Today, we are in a complete new era. It's an era where we go graftless, we go flapless, we go in less time, and we go painless. This is what our patients want. And when we talk about total agentulous, and specifically here about the all on four, we can have, in fact, four ways of using digital nowadays. First way is just uh, going uh, non-guided, meaning that we use the software, DTX Studio Implant, as a, as a diagnosis tool. And uh, on these cases, we will uh, pre-plan, we will pre-visualize pre our patient's anatomy in the software just the day before we go flap and we do freehand. But already we have seen our patient's anatomy, we already have seen what are we going to do, and this will make our procedure pretty much more predictable. Then we can also go with a fully guided approach. This is something we are using for more than uh, 15 years now, from uh, almost 15 years now, from 2005. We can also go through a partially guided workflow. And finally, most recently, with navigated approach. So when we talk about fully guided procedure, this is something that, as I was uh, saying already, we are using since 2005. And there is a specific and a pretty uh, defined workflow where we have to select the right patient, we have to uh, scan the patient with the denture, scan the dentures alone, it's called the double scan technique. We move these to the software where we plan our virtual surgery. We then um, get a surgical, um, a physical surgical template, and this will allow us to do the lab work in advance and do the guided surgery at the end. So, I want to present you here a case we treated uh, 2016, three years ago, totally dentulous maxilla case, where here, of course, the treatment plan was all on four. The patient was using uh, an existing denture. This denture didn't meet the necessary requirements, so we had to go through a new denture that then was transformed into the provisional bridge. We have to check the mouth opening capability. These drills we are using are longer. We have to check the mouse, um, uh, the smile line of the patient. So it's ideally we should have no gummy smile. So there is no need of bone or soft tissue remodulation. And so we uh, scan the patient with this new denture. We scan the denture alone, we move to the software and we are just uh, ready for our digital journey. So on the DTX, on those times on the Noble Clinician software, we, we plan our surgery, we can visualize the anatomy in such a way we cannot do it in the, in the surgical room, okay? And we have the denture, which is our radiographic guide that will allow us to, of course, uh, plan a perfect surgery. The surgery is driven by the, the, the surgical template, of course. We have uh, drill guides for each drill. We can calibrate these drills to the correct length of the implant. And on this case, we, we selected a Noble Parallel CC implant, uh, 4.3 by 15 millimeter. And so we just have to follow a strict protocol through the sleeves and very gently, of course, taking at, paying attention to the density of the bone in such a way that we achieve uh, the necessary primary stability for immediate function. These are very uh, fast, I would say very um, fast and uh, non-time consuming procedures. In uh, 45 minutes, one hour, we are able to deliver the implants, the abutments, and the provisional bridge. And most of all, in a very predictable way and going minimal invasive. Meaning that, as you will see, we don't have the need of uh, going uh, flap. There is no incision, there is no suture, there is uh, no morbidity. And this is a major breakthrough because we just do four holes in the bone where we want to place our implants. After this, we connect our 30 degree multi-unit abutments. We get um, the, multi, the straight multi-unit multi -unit abutments in the front, and we have the, a provisional bridge that will deliver in the day immediately after we finalize the surgery. So the patient comes in in, 
in early in the morning, in the middle of the morning, everything is ready, the patient can move out of the, the clinic and the case is done. And that, that is amazing, Armando, because uh, it's, it, it deserves, really, I want to give you my compliments because after more than 15 years of guided surgery, Armando is still following precisely the protocol from the prosthetic, from the surgical protocol to the prosthetic protocol. And the, you didn't skip one step. So regardless of the learning curve, we really need to follow up what we learned so far. So learning curve doesn't mean taking shortcut with guided surgery, right? Yes. But I have one question, because I saw that this temporary prosthesis was completely prefabricated. Is it correct? So included the temporary cylinder connected yes, to the prosthesis? Yes, Alexandro. We were a pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, we were a pretty bit, a little bit, sorry, a little bit ambitious here on this case. And what we do is uh, like we do a mark on the template where we want the, the head of the, blunt, the, the implant to sit in the moment in the bone. And then with the guide, we try to sit the implant head there and we use uh, the normal 30 degree multi-unit abutments. But then we will use a jig, we will have a jig for a uh, controlling that we were precise and that this is before I placed the, the provisional bridge so that uh, I'm sure that I, I went precise. So if I, if I understand properly, with the, the original multi-unit design that was not engaging for the external hexagonal connection, we were used this jig for positioning the multi-unit. Now with the, the internal connection multi-unit, you are using this jig to verify your surgery. Yes, Is it we, correct? Yes, we want to put immediately the final abutment in the surgery day. And so we have developed this jig to help us to control that we were precise. But this needs for sure a high skill. What do you think, James? Uh, are you willing to deliver immediately a completely prefabricated prosthesis or um, you do something different? Amendo is doing, truly. But uh, most of the time, I'm still bonding the temporary uh, cylinder inside the mouth. So you rely on the temporary. And Simon, what's about you? I'll have to say the same. I compliment the, the great work, but I, I really am with James here. I prefer to do it in, in so the mouth. They, they, they are on the safe side. You are on the high skill side. But uh, we can stay in between. Maybe we could, uh, is, is it realistic to connect just temporary, one temporary cylinder? Yes, the, the, the prosthetic workflow is, is versatile. So you can use one cylinder, you can use two, and if you want to be more ambitious, uh, like and more, we precise. Were, and more precise, you can even go like this. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, this is the, 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 the fully guided workflow. And as you can see, this is the final bridge delivery six months later, and uh, a titanium acrylic bridge and uh, intraoral pictures of the case after six months. And here I want to share with you the three years follow-up on the OPG of this case, and also the periapical radiographs where we can really check the, 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 the stable uh, bone uh, stability around these implants after 36 months. And most of all, this is the most important, is how we can change these people's life just by placing them the teeth we can, in fact, really change these people's life with this kind of treatment. And this is the, one of the best things we have in our job. This procedure was published by our group in 2017, where we have uh, followed 133 cases uh, over seven years of follow-up with a cumulative survival rate of 94.5% with, uh, with this protocol, guided surgery, surgery with the all on four. 